My name is Dinusha Mendes. I'm Professor of Intellectual Property and Innovation Law and Director of the Center for Intellectual Property Policy and Management at Bournemouth University. And I'm speaking today in my capacity as the project lead for the Open Norms Project, which is kindly funded by Knowledge Rights 21 and also as a co-author of this project. Of the hybrid, hybrid countries, we found in our project that Israel, Canada, and Singapore are successful stories. So I'll start, I'll say a few things about Canada first. Canada, in fact, interestingly, has a fair dealing exception, much like the UK. But since 2004, Canada has, in fact, interpreted its fair dealing exception in a very broad manner. Um, and that's really to the expertise of their judiciary and the judges. And they also introduced the Copyright, Moderniz the Copyright Modernization Act of 2012. So what we see with Canada is that um, it is possible not to, in fact, transplant a uh, fair style, a fair use style exception from a foreign jurisdiction into your own jurisdiction. But in fact, you can use your own exception and broaden it in a way that can encompass user rights in a more favorable manner. And we see this particularly in the creative sector and the research and education sector in Canada. Israel is another successful um, case study as well. They introduced their open norm in 2007. This did mirror the US fair use um, style exception, uh, but uh, and through a very growing and rich body of case law, Israel has provided much guidance and clarity to their users. What we also see with Israel is a, in a kind of a way that, um, an alternative way of managing and interpreting the open norm. And this is because they have an ex ante intervention by the government. So this is a very interesting case study. Singapore is another interesting and a successful country that has um, adopted um, an open norm in the recent years very successfully. Singapore actually had a fair dealing type um, exception for a number of years but introduced a fair use style exception in 2004 and then updated that in 2021. And what we see with Singapore is that um, Singapore shows that you can have an open norm that is set out in multiple sections with very clear examples, which then provides clarity and guidance. One of the countries in the mixed um, set of, in the, in the mixed or hybrid system is Sri Lanka, which has faced some challenges. And this is from the context of drafting. And what we see with Sri Lanka is that, and what I guess a lesson we can learn from Sri Lanka is that when drafting an open norm, it is important not to restrict the open norm with an exhaustive list of provisions as to when fair use can be used. So I guess that's something that we can learn from Sri Lanka. Moving on to the civil law countries, we have Japan and Korea. Japan is a very interesting case study, a successful case study. Japan introduced two flexible open norms in 2018, and they rejected a fair use style provision. And in rejecting that, they really focused on the purpose of their open uh, norms. And this has been very well received in Japan, uh, very well received by the technology sector, by the businesses. Um, one thing that, although it's a very successful case study, what we have seen with Japan is that it is slightly constrained by this purpose factor. But apart from that, it is a successful story. Korea introduced their open norm in 2011, um, mirroring a fair use style exception. And it's interesting because it's a civil law country again, but it has been adopted and it has been used well. But one of the things with Korea is that before the fair use style exception or the open norm was introduced, Korea had a very successful quotation exception in place. It still does. And so at this moment in time, Korea is spoiled for choice because Korea has both the quotation exception as well as this fair use exception as well. This choice has also led to some cert uncertainty and a little bit of lack of clarity as well. And with the conservative approach that's been taken by the judges, as well as um, sort of the literal and the strict interpretation of commercial use within the fair use um, exception, Korea has struggled a little bit. So the lesson we can learn from Korea is that um, it is definitely possible to adopt an open norm in a civil law country that is very clear from a country like Korea. But if you already have as an, uh, an exception that is working extremely well, such as quotation, 
then think about how you might incorporate a fair use style provision into your country uh, when you are kind of introducing this open norm. So in a nutshell, these are our findings uh, from our project on open norms.